on crack right now. Am I leffing right now? Where's my V-neck? Get the V-neck, mom. Mom! Oh, Melee, we go again, Melee. I will say, I was watching Ginger against H-Box. Ginger was going off. Shit was tight. Ginger be doing some things sometimes. Johnny H-Box was a beatdown, dude. This is the thing with H-Box, and I'm not trying to shit on him. But, like, for H-Box to be good again, he's going to have to deal with three Falcons, which I think he objectively... I think it's known that he doesn't really like Falcon, right? How did I miss that? He's going to have to deal with three Falcons. He's going to have... Whoops. He's going to have to deal with Zane. He's going to have to deal with me. He's going to have to deal with all these crackhead foxes. It's going to be tough. He's, he's going to have to deal with Zane, which I think Marf Puff is... Dead ass, like seven three. I think if Zane's playing well, Hbox gonna have to play like twice as good. It's gonna be ridiculous. Whoa. I mean, I think Puff is a bad character. <laughs> so, of course, he hates every matchup because you hate every matchup <laughs> when your character's bad. I love every matchup because my character's good. <laughs> I'm having a great time playing melee. No, no, I think Spaces and Marf are. Clear top three in the game, but not that it matters. And then Falcon and Sheik right below. I think it, once you're in a top eight, matchups don't matter as hard unless your character's bad. Unless you're like Axe or Hbox or a Peach. Otherwise, you're fine. All the matchups are doable. Yeah, Cody switching to Sheik. I personally think Fox Marf's fine. I can't really say because I haven't really done a lot. When I play it, I don't feel like it's bad. I think it's a hard matchup, but I, hard matchups. I think as time goes on, every matchup is a hard matchup. <laughs> like, I think Fox players, and not really to generalize, you know, I feel like if they want to switch to Sheik because they think that's the best chance of them winning, I think I respect that. Do what you got to do to win. I just think Fox players are not used, like, matchups are just getting harder. And, like, if you're a Falco player or, like, a fucking Pikachu player, you know that every matchup's hard. And I think just because a matchup's hard, you know, you don't give up on it. But if you really feel like it's a better chance to win, then that's fine. I play Falco and every matchup's hard. Every matchup's hard matchup. If I play bad, I get fucked. That's just what it is with Fox. When you're a spacey, every matchup... What do you think every matchup's gonna be in like three years and everyone hits even harder? And everyone has all the Falco Fox practice. It's gonna be hard as fuck. I always think that's what I like about Axe. Axe doesn't complain about matchup. Pikachu loses every top tier matchup. <laughs> Literally. Pikachu wins no matchups. I never heard Axe cry about it. Literally. If anyone should complain about matchups, like Axe. Pikachu arguably loses every matchup. But that's just the character. Like, I think just because a matchup's hard doesn't mean it's bad. It's just hard. And I think at the end of the day, none of the matchups are losing. Poor Axe. I respect Axe, but I don't know what he's going to do, man. I think Pikachu's bad. But he always comes up with some shit, but... Uh, it's gonna be struggle. That guy's gonna struggle, man. I do think he will need to pick up another character at some point. There's no way it's 2023 Axe is a solo Pikachu. I, I just don't think. I don't know. I would love to be proved wrong, but I just think it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really fucking hard from a solo Pikachu. So, Pikachu has so many bad matchups that are like, I think, really bad. I don't think I'll ever switch, but I do think he needs to start. <laughs> Considering a, 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 a really good like secondary and putting time into it. That isn't Young Link. <laughs> that is not Young Link. But yeah, I, I think he'll do it. He's, Axe is sick enough. Like I said, I just think he's going to have to pick up a secondary. I mean, I would say the same for Hbox. I don't think... The only characters that can win solo are... Um, the only like the top five characters. I don't think anyone else can win solo. I don't think Peach can win solo. I don't think Puff can win solo anymore. I don't think Pikachu can win solo. I think Sheik can win solo if Hbox isn't in the picture. But the thing is, Sheik Fox looks fucking brutal. But I think the Sheiks are pretty good against Fox, so... It's a bitch of a matchup, but... Yeah. So I think the... Like, the... 
Those five characters can solo win. Sheik's only bad matchup is Puff, which I don't even think Sheik Puff's that bad. No one ever, no one's ever labbed it enough to make me think like it's just figured out. But if Hbox, I mean, there's a chance Hbox just stops playing melee. He might just be over it, and he might just stream. So if Hbox is gone, then you know, two Saint maybe in a year or two if he gets a little better, will become like a threat threat. But yeah, so we'll see. Zane looks like he's gonna be to win tournaments. You're probably gonna have to beat Zane. You're probably gonna have to beat Zane and me going forward. To win a tournament now, you're gonna have to win. You're gonna have to beat one of the two of the cracked foxes. You're gonna have to beat one of four cracked foxes to win a tournament. You're gonna have to beat one of three falcons to win a tournament. You're probably gonna have to beat me to win a tournament. And you'll probably have to beat Zane to win a tournament. So, like, I think to win a tournament's gonna be really hard. And I don't think, like, Peach is beating all of those people. The four, I mean, I'm going by pre COVID, it was Leffen. Fiction, Hacks, Cody. But now you could probably add uh, Moki to that. Um, Joey's, I mean, Joey sucks, but I Joey could still be a threat at any given second, at any time, at any place. <laughs> at any second, anywhere. <laughs> J-Bone might fuck somebody up. Melee's good. When land comes back, it's going to be a top combination of me, Zane, left. Plus all these kids who are getting cracked out. Our top 10 is going to be fucking... Our top 8s are going to be so fucking fun to watch, dude. Just imagine like me left on one side and like Zane and a Falcon on the other side with like Cody and losers, maybe hacks, blah, blah, blah. Like it's going to be really fucking sick. Our top eights are going to be insane. They're easily going to be the best top eights ever. Plup will be there somewhere. So like just imagine that top eight. If you get like Zane versus Plup, you're like, this is a sick matchup. You get Leffen versus fucking, you know, Plup, you're like, this is a sick matchup. You get Mango versus Plup, this is dope. We get Johnny versus Plup, Johnny versus Zane. Johnny versus Leffen is going to be tight when that happens. There's going to be so many sick matchups, dude. That's why I always say Melee was really boring in 17 and 18. Not because I hate Armada or Hbox. But because it was just stale. You kind of just knew what was happening every tournament. I sucked ass. You know, Plub had some moments. Everyone sucked ass except them. So, like, everything was pretty... Everything was pre-calculated. You kind of knew what was going to happen. You know, they were just so much better that, you know. But I think now our top eights are going to be so fucking juicy and fun to watch. And I think we're going to have like four to five people who can probably win a tournament. Then you throw in some wild cards like Johnny playing hot. Cody playing hot. None playing hot. I mean, it was a flo The thing about that era was floaty dominated. Like there was a floaty essentially in every set. Because it was either Armada or Hbox. It was just floaty dominated. And then it was just Fox Puff. Over and over and over and over. So that's why. I think even if me and Zane got top two for literally two years and we just beat everybody, it would get stale. And it's not just because, like, you know, it would just get stale. You need the storylines. You need people to get better to push people. Got to have the new guys coming up. What's up, Saber 2? I, I also think Melee is very aggressive right now. Like, running away, like, doesn't really work. Running away, like, isn't good anymore. Like, it's actually better to fight most situations. So the meta is also sick. We're going to have really good storylines. When Melee comes back, it's going to be fucking tight, dude. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to have... Uh, we're going to have a summit. A land summit by the end of the year. So I think we will get a summit by the end of this year if everyone's vaxxed. I mean, I'm going to get vaxxed ASAP. And I think all Smashers are vaxxed, gang. I mean, if you can't, then you just can't compete. So get fucked. <laughs> it's like, alright. So I do think we'll get a land... We'll get a summit um, by the end of the year. I can have a point five. Vax COVID. You gotta bring your uh, Vax card to get into point five. Ooh, you left it at home, Zane. Ooh, ah, that sucks, man. Hey, Leffen, you cool with letting Zane in? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm like, oh, you old oh, man, Zane. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> like I was saying, I'm kind of over online tournament. Thanks, kid. I'm kind of, I'm kind I'm personally over, but I'll do SCL. I might enter like one tournament a month. I'll keep it casual just to stay like fresh. I don't have like desire to like be the best like online right now. So I want to like save, cause like I've played so much melee that like, like I, I tried so hard, you know, um, the end of last year, obviously I was playing like eight hours of melee a day and I don't want, I can't, I don't want to use any more of my, my, be the best juice right now because I don't think there can be a best with online anyway 
So I'd rather save my my like juice because I'm old. I don't know how much I don't know how much motivation I could have like for many years, you know. I don't wanna waste it. So I'm gonna just kinda stay fresh. I'll try to win whatever I enter, obviously, but I'll, I just want to stay fresh for the rest of uh, for the rest of online. Um, I'm just trying to keep up, and then once land starts getting announced, I'm gonna go so hard. Cause I think I've played so much melee, I can't just try that hard every year. Cody gonna use Sheik? I don't know. I mean, Sheik Marf looks way simpler than Fox. I just don't know. I don't know if Cody's gonna be re like when you have two characters, you have to like change how you practice. And it changes how you have to warm up at tournaments. So, like, it's something I don't know if he's going to be ready for. Obviously, I think he can get better at it. But when you use two characters, it's a, it's a different method of keeping, like, your characters warm. Like, what if you're warming up your Sheik and then Zane loses and now you're just like, well, fuck. I mean, the Falcons are going to struggle, I think, when if me and Plup are in full shape. Because they're going to have to probably beat one of us, which is going to be really hard. That's, like, the Falcons' only problem. But they have a good matchup against Hbox. And a good matchup against uh, Zane. Even though I think Marv kind of shits on Zane. Johnny showed that if Zane's playing a little off, <laughs> you can fuck him up. Yeah, true. Pup might play fall. I mean, I think Pup will play Sheik on land. I, I think he'll be. I think he'll be a Sheik player. And then if he doesn't have to, if H Fox is out of the picture, he doesn't really have to use Fox, or he doesn't have to keep it warm. So you might get like essentially full Sheik Pup, which I think is when he's at his best. But we'll see how he plays it. We're not done yet. Oh, that's good. For whatever reason, Hbox's mental is just garbage, and no one really knows why. I think a big part of it is now on stream he gets love, whereas I think before he played with such hatred and so much. Now he gets love. When you get love, it's harder to play. When I think you're used to playing, I told I've told you guys the Hbox story, and this is a true story. It was Summit. It was Hbox was playing hugs in a friendly. Uh, he was forced stalking Hugo with this Falco. Don't tell Hugo. It was really fucking embarrassing. And he was fucking him up. And I go, I come over. I was like, oh shit, let's go, Juan. And I started cheering for him to like be We're funny. He did not take another stalk. Dead ass. And then I left and stopped cheering for him. I looked back and he started winning again. I'm not even joking. Oh, the guy does not know how to play when people cheer for him. I'm not even joking. Yeah, Glorious! Geo, you pussy! Also, Fox Falcon is like, I don't know. It's not fun from Fox's perspective. I don't like it. You kind of have to cheese Falcon, and if you don't, you get absolutely shat on. So I don't really like Fox Falcon, if I'm being real. It's not a fun matchup. Falco, I can just kind of make Falcon my bitch, which is like my favorite thing to do in this game. Which is why I like Falco more. I probably am using Fox all time against Sheik. Although I don't think Sheik Falco's bad. Um, Fox is just so good against Sheik. I have a nasty Fox. Might as well use him. Um, and I'll probably use Fox against Puff. So whenever I play Hbox, I probably will use Fox. Um, that's probably it for my Fox going forward. Yoshi and Pikachu, I can use Fox if I do want to play Fox. Peach, I mean, uh, I, I could do either. I like Falco Peach. I like Fox Peach. There's really no reason for me to go Fox against Zane except to prove a point. But I got a land train. I'm not gonna fly to fucking, you know, East Coast and then play to prove a point. So, if anything, I can do maybe one or two online, but other than that, just... I've also put in the last, like, I've also put in the last, what, two, three years against Marf. So, that's just the reason I go Fox against Puff is I just have put so much time into that matchup. That'd be kind of silly to just drop it right now. Falco Sheik is hard, but like, I, I don't mind it as Falco. But it does feel like if I'm playing a little off, it's brutal. I think the thing with Marf Sheik, and I said this to Geo yesterday, is not, I don't think it's bad for Marf, but I think when Zane plays against the Sheik, that's good. Whether, you know, it's gonna be Plup or Left and Sheik, or if you know the other Sheiks get nasty, uh, is that the best way I can put it is that Zane becomes the Spacey. Like, ultimately, I don't think Spacey Marf's that bad, but if you're off as a Spacey against Marf, you will get fucked. And I think Zane in the Sheik matchup becomes the Spacey. If he's off, he gets absolutely shit on. What's up, Uwayne? So that's why I think Sheik's gonna be interesting, because it's gonna keep him honest. He pretty much becomes the Spacey. Like, he's gotta literally play well or he will get fucked. I also think Marf's that way against Falcon. I guess they get they get reality checks. 
You saw him play slightly off against Johnny. Johnny 3 0 his ass. So I think Marv. Like, I think Marv can even win those matchups. They're at least even. Or whatever, however you look at it. But I do think if he's off against those matchups, he's just going to get fucked. So those matchups will keep Zane in check. He can't just, like, play decent. He's got to play really good against people if they're playing well. kind of crack right now. Am I laughing right now? Where's my V-neck? Get the V-neck, mom. Mom! I feel like there's gonna be so many controllers thrown when all these fucking slippy kids who rage all the time. You're gonna hear clanks all the time. There should be like a controller throne sign counter. You know there's gonna be fucking hella kids raging. Did you hear that? Yeah, another controller. Oh. Damn. Everyone just looks. Nobody nobody cares. Oh yeah. What's up, best right next, man? Every time there's a controller being thrown, one of the, the controller mods sent one of their lackeys. I know you can replace that. <laughs> They're gonna be You hear that? Go, go, go! <laughs> See all, all people running to the site. <laughs> go, what do you know? <laughs> go, go, go! First on the scene, come with your business card. I never make fun of anyone going bald, because I just imagine it sucks dick, because you literally can't do anything about it. You know who's the bald maker fun of? Joey. Joey loves making fun of bald people. I never do it. I never do it. I can only imagine how much dick it sucks to go bald. So I'll never make a joke. Joey does not give a fuck. I told Alex he has the Vegeta hairline. I was like, oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Joey, no. I was telling Gio how, like, whenever he beats me a game, I, like, eternally always try way harder the next game. We were just talking about that. Whenever I lose a game to anybody, I always fucking just naturally try harder, even without even realizing it. Yeah, you knew it. Whenever I lose a game against anybody, I I don't I, like I didn't even mean to like try harder that game. I just kind of do, which is good. That's a good little instinct to have. Geo's terrified of me after he wins the game. Okay, against anybody, if I lose one, I usually that's just the melee, dude. You don't want I don't want to lose two games in a row. I hate losing two games in a row. Is Johnny the best Falcon right now? I think right now Nun's been kind of a little cold, or I feel like Nun's getting back into rhythm right now. I mean, I think it's fair to say. It doesn't really matter right now, but uh, yeah. Johnny's definitely the hottest. I mean, he got second and first his last two tournaments. Pretty decent win, so. I think Nun's still getting back into shape. Also, I think his PC was messed up. So. Ah, uh, come on, zombies. How am I just so nasty at this game? I feel like I'm like, I don't think I'm as flashy as people are, but I'm like, I'm just like simple kind of, but effective. I feel like the way I play is very, I don't know. I just never fuck shit up. When I'm playing, I'm like all fundamentals, yeah. I'm just literally 20 years of fundamentals. And then randomly I'm the fastest player to ever touch a controller. I mean, I'm a little flashy. I'm a little flashy. Not crazy. I think I used to be a lot flashier, but you kind of have to go a little optimal. Even Nun Stomp knees at 70%. I've seen it. Nothing wrong with that in the current day and age. Falco. Like, that was just solid. Got some DI mixes, got a kill. Was that that crazy? No, it was just efficient. 